Hello friends! Today we are going to do a folded paper project showing how an acorn grows into an oak tree. First, we'll watch a short video made by Greenbelt Biota member Damien Aussie and his son Jude. They go out into the woods to find acorns and they see lots of different kinds of oak trees. Hi, I'm Damien. And I'm Jude. And we're in the North Woods in Greenbelt looking at oak trees. Most of the trees in the North Woods are oak trees. White oak, red oak, scarlet oak. There's tons of oak trees in the North Woods. Big ones, medium sized ones, and little teeny ones. Acorns are the seeds that were dropped by an oak tree. We found these acorns in our backyard. Maybe a squirrel gathered them up and was getting ready to eat them. These acorns would grow into an oak tree if they aren't eaten by the squirrels. Here you can see a sprouting acorn. The root will grow down into the soil while the sprout with the small leaves will grow up towards the sun. The forest here is full of oak seedlings. Around here there's lots and lots of white oaks. Here's a white oak leaf with round lobes. Here's a white oak seedling. Even though it's so small, it's probably 10 years old. Sometimes you can tell by counting the little nodes along the edge of the stem here. Each little node was one year of growth. So this tiny little seedling could be 10 or 15 years old. And a deer could come by and chomp it down after 10 or 15 years of growth or a rabbit or anything but if it makes it it'll grow to be as big as that one huge white oak way up in the canopy creating the canopy this this is one of the middle stages of an oak tree and even though it's probably three times older than me it's only barely taller than me a good example of what happens to an oak tree when it dies but does not fall over. As you can see, it's been covered in mushrooms and fungus and its, le and its branches have absolutely no leaves on them. It's probably being used by woodpeckers as nests. And they're under the the canopy, a lot of times the leaves look different because they get wider, they grow a lot wider and larger in order to more capture more sunlight. Whereas the leaves way up at the top of the canopy will be really small and thin. Now we're here at Spring Hill Lake Recreation Center. We're going to walk around and look for some oak trees here at the Recreation Center and all around. Let's get to it. Here we found an oak tree right in the yard, right by the basketball court. I think this one is called Swamp White Oak. If you look at the bottom, it's really fuzzy. It's very soft like, like velvet. And look, this one also has acorns starting to grow. And it's also been damaged by the cicada. You can see the cicada spots right here where she laid her eggs. There's Jude walking over towards a willow oak. That big tall one there. It's right next to the playground. You can see it's got those long thin leaves. Kind of look like the leaves from a willow tree. Golf ball? Hey, that looks like an acorn. Whoa, I didn't know that they could get that big. Yeah, and look at this thing growing over the acorn. Mm. It's a pretty one, pretty large one. It's rattling around in there. I think it might grow into a tree someday. So for this project, you're going to need this sheet that says acorn to oak tree and has these shapes on it. 
your four pieces of construction paper. You have green, yellow, dark brown, and light brown, a glue stick, some scissors, and a pen or a pencil. So you're going to start by cutting all of these shapes out. So you're going to end up with this shape, this long one, this one, and this one. And first you're going to take this one that's kind of round, it's the smallest, and you're going to take your yellow paper. So you have this round cut out and your yellow paper. And you're going to trace, you're going to put the white paper on the yellow paper and you're going to take your pen or pencil and you're going to trace all the way around it. So it's going to look like this and then you're going to cut it out. So you have, I did all these super speedy. <laughs> so you have this yellow dot. And next you're going to take this long one and you're going to do the exact same thing, trace it and then cut it out on your green paper. So you'll have it in green. Next, take your dark brown. You've got light brown and dark brown, but you're, you're going to take your dark brown. You're going to take this one that's kind of pointed at the top um, and it's wider than the other one. Um, this is the base of your acorn. You're going to trace it and cut it out. So you've got your brown acorn base. And then the last one, the light brown, is a little tricky. Um, you're going to take your light brown piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half so that you have this fold here. Then you're going to take, this is your last piece you haven't cut out yet. See, it's the skinnier one that's less pointed at the top and you're going to place it on the folded edge. So you see it opens this way, the folded edge is here. You're going to place it right on the folded edge and trace it right there. And then when you cut it out, you're going to cut out around, but keep the thing on the fold so that then you have it opens. So you should have four pieces. You've got your green shoot, your yellow seed, your dark brown acorn cap, and this light brown folded acorn bit. So you have four pieces. Um, you've cut them out of your four sheets of paper. For each one, you can trace it and then cut it. Um, and then we're going to get to constructing it. So first you're going to take your acorn cap, your dark brown, and you're going to take your acorn bit that folds and you're going to put just one side, you're going to glue just one side of this light brown on top of this dark brown, see how it looks like an acorn, and you're going to keep it so that once you've glued it, you can open it like this. So I'm going to glue it right now. So I've glued mine and it looks like this all attached. You have your acorn, looks like an acorn. So let's put our acorn. You have, you've just folded and glued like this. Let's put our acorn right side up. So the cap's on the top. Let's open it up and then we're going to take our green piece and we're gonna put it, a lot of things in my hands. We're gonna put it right here. And so you see, you've got two sides. You've got the leaves and you have the roots. So you have the roots here and the leaves up top here. So you're gonna take, you see this has two sides. You've got the leaves on top and the roots on the bottom. And you're gonna put it here on the other side, on the opposite side as this and um, you're gonna make sure the leaves are on the top next to the acorn cap and the roots are on the bottom because it grows from the bottom, from the roots, all the way up to the leaves. So you're gonna glue that on. I'm gonna glue that on right now. So it looks like this. You've got the roots on the bottom and the leaves on the top. 
On our last bit, we have our yellow seed, and that's going to go right in the middle here. You can have it pointing down like the acorn does, and we're going to glue that on right there. So here's what it looks like. You've got the acorn on this side, the acorn cap on this side, your light brown acorn bit that folds, your green roots and leaves, and your seed. Um, and so to make this acorn grow, we're going to fold down the roots, I mean the leaves. We fold down the leaves. You can kind of fold them in and fold up the roots. And then when we close it, it's all hidden and it looks just like a regular acorn, like this. And then because the acorn is the seed, then when you open it up, it grows. And that's where we get our oak tree. So you start, it starts with the acorn, like you saw in the nature video. It starts with the acorn, the acorn's planted in the ground, and then it grows roots, and it grows leaves, and it grows into a great big oak tree. I hope you enjoy this project um, and you have your acorn to oak tree paper folded cut out and I will see you next time with another video. Bye! This video was made possible with the support of the Prince George's Arts and Humanities Council. We would also like to thank our partners Greenbelt Biota, Cheers, and Scientific Illustrator Ikumi Kayami. Greenbelt Biota, the Natural History Society of Greenbelt, is a group of citizens from different backgrounds and disciplines with the common goal of cataloging the flora and fauna of the Greenbelt Forest Preserve and other natural areas in Greenbelt, and educating the public about the important role of such urban green spaces in the conservation of biodiversity. They share observations on their Facebook group page and organize monthly walks in or near Greenbelt. Chesapeake Education, Arts, and Research Society Cheers is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the health of all who share the Chesapeake watershed environment by coordinating and facilitating volunteer driven and community focused environmental stewardship projects. Their mission is to promote the health of all life in the Chesapeake watershed through education and action projects organized and implemented by volunteers. You can find Cheers on Facebook or at cheers.org.